Is your Galaxy S22 still worth it in 2025? The answer might surprise you. Samsung has officially started testing One UI 8, which is built on top of Android 16, and the Galaxy S22 series is now part of this update. The Galaxy S22 Ultra was recently seen on Geekbench running Android 16 with One UI 8, which confirms that Samsung is actively preparing the update for older devices, not just the latest flagships. In the past, Samsung wasn't exactly known for fast software updates, but that's changed a lot in recent years. Now the company is aiming to keep up with Google's Android schedule and sometimes even stay ahead. Google is expected to release Android 16 between June and September this so year. That means One UI 8 should arrive sometime during that window. And with the S22 already in testing, Samsung might deliver the update to users much sooner than expected. Samsung has already been working on One UI 8 for newer models like the Galaxy S25 and the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now the focus has expanded to include older phones like the S22 lineup. This shows that Samsung isn't only prioritizing new devices, but also wants users with slightly older models to enjoy the latest software experience. A beta version of One UI 8 could launch very soon, possibly even within this month, giving early testers a chance to try it before the full release. However, it's important to set the right expectations. The early builds of One UI 8 don't introduce massive visual changes or exciting new features just yet. At this stage, Samsung is focusing on the core system improvements, like smoother performance, minor design changes, and background optimizations. These updates are all about improving the experience little by little, rather than overhauling everything at once. That's normal for Samsung's beta software. Over time, as the testing phase continues, more noticeable updates are likely to be added. For Galaxy S22 users, One UI 8 is more than just another update. It's actually the last major Android version your phone will receive. When Samsung launched the S22 series in 2022, it promised four years of Android upgrades. Since the phones came with Android 12 out of the box, Android 16 completes that promise. After this, your phone will continue getting security updates for a while, but this is the final big upgrade in terms of Android versions. That might sound like the end of the road, but it's not really a bad thing. You'll still receive important security patches and stability improvements. Your phone won't suddenly become outdated. In fact, this update will help it stay secure and run better during its remaining supported life. And for many users, that's what really matters. The fact that Samsung is already testing One UI 8 this early also highlights how closely they're working with Google now. Years ago, Samsung users often had to wait months for updates. But now, with early testing and a faster rollout, Galaxy users are among the first to try new Android features. This shows a clear shift in how Samsung handles software, something users should definitely appreciate. So if you're still using a Galaxy S22, now's a good time to stay informed. Watch for official announcements about the beta program. If you're someone who likes to test new features early, you might get access soon. Just make sure to back up your data first, since beta versions can sometimes have small bugs. Even if the first version of One UI 8 doesn't seem like a huge change, it's an important one. It keeps your phone current, safe, and running well. And more features will likely be added as testing continues. For S22 users, this update is a key moment, not just because of what it brings, but because of what it represents. The final chapter in a strong update cycle. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We'll keep you updated on the latest Samsung news, Android features, and software releases. Could Honor be trying to shake things up in the mid-range smartphone market? All signs point to yes. With the launch of the Honor 400 series scheduled for May 22nd, the company has started dropping some interesting hints. But these aren't just any ordinary teasers. They're bold, creative, and they seem to be throwing a little shade at Samsung. One of the promotional images for the new phone caught people's attention for more than just the design. It shows a phone placed inside an ice cooler, another device with a giant telephoto lens, and an airship flying in the sky with the words, not the same, written on it. That message seems like a not-so-subtle comment on Samsung's recent mid-range phones, which many say haven't changed much over the years. Take the Galaxy A55 and A56, for example. 
They're solid phones, but side by side, you'd be hard pressed to tell them apart at first glance. That's exactly what Honor appears to be pointing out. It's a clever marketing move. Not only are they promoting their upcoming phone, but they're also suggesting that they're offering something fresher and more exciting than the competition. Now, let's talk about what we know so far about the Honor 400 series, especially the Honor 400 Pro. According to the early leaks and teaser clues, this phone is shaping up to be a serious contender in the mid-range space. One of the main highlights? The camera setup. The Honor 400 Pro is expected to feature a 200-megapixel main sensor, a 50-megapixel telephoto lens, and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera. That's an impressive setup for a mid-range device. While it's not confirmed yet, it's likely that the 200-megapixel sensor will be exclusive to the Pro model. If that's true, this phone could become a favorite for users who love mobile photography but don't want to spend over $1,000. Performance-wise, the Honor 400 Pro isn't holding back either. Rumors suggest it will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, the same processor found in many top-tier flagship phones this year. It may also include up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and as much as 512 gigabytes of internal storage. On top of that, the battery is expected to be 5E300 mAh and could support fast charging up to 100 watts. That means users won't have to worry about running out of power or waiting long to recharge. As for pricing, the Honor 400 Pro is expected to start at around 7,999 euros, which translates to roughly 900 US dollars. The standard Honor 400 model could be more affordable, possibly starting at 499 euros or around 560 US dollars. These price points place the phones right in the competitive mid-range segment, which includes upcoming devices like the Samsung Galaxy, S24 FE, OnePlus 13R, and Google Pixel 9a. There's another fun twist to all this. Honor has added a mini-game to their teaser campaign. They're challenging users to find hidden clues in the promo image, and those who spot them could actually win a phone. It's a smart way to keep people engaged and talking about the upcoming launch. At the moment, the phones are expected to launch first in the United Kingdom, followed by other parts of Europe, China, and possibly India. However, there's still no news about a United States release. It's clear that Honor is aiming high with the 400 series. With powerful specs, bold marketing, and competitive pricing, they're setting their sights on users who want more from their phones without paying flagship prices. Whether you care most about camera quality, performance, or battery life, this new series might just be worth a closer look. What's your take on Honor's new strategy? Do you think it's a smart move to challenge Samsung directly? Or is it just marketing talk? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you found this update helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest phones. Is your next iPhone about to get a lot more expensive? That's what many people are worried about right now as new trade tensions between the United States and China could directly impact the price of Apple's most popular product. It's not just talk either. There are already signs that Apple is preparing for something big and customers across the US are taking notice.